After two much publicized failures, Project Vanguard scores a bullseye on its third firing at Cape Canaveral. A grapefruit-sized satellite is set into the nose cone of a three-stage rocket, and the launching routine begins. With the launch of the Vanguard satellite in 1958, the United States strengthened its commitment to science exploration and paved the way for future space technologies. From the Naval Research Laboratory in Washington, D.C., Roger Easton led a team of scientists and engineers to develop an orbital tracking system for the Vanguard satellite using radio waves. The Vanguard project was a scientific satellite project for the International Geophysical Year. We had a method of tracking it called Minitrack. And then later, the idea came to me, wouldn't this be a good navigation system? Easton's pioneering achievements in spacecraft tracking, navigation, and time technology led to the development of the Navstar Global Positioning System, now commonly referred to as simply GPS. The name we used was Timation for time navigation. Timation was how it works, and GPS is what it does. Today, GPS is an array of Earth-orbiting satellites providing precise navigation data for both military and civilian applications. I guess one of the main questions is, where do ideas come from? And they certainly are a number of different inputs that get squirreled around in your brain. After a while, it usually something happens and, and you get an idea. And, Sometimes they even turn out to be useful. <laughs>